after creating the store we are going into the sign up page where we will create the form for user registration i'm going to import connect here from the react redux it will connect our sign up component with the store which we have recently developed and uh, here i'm going to take connect connect will take two arguments it is just like a higher order component in the react and it will take two arguments map step to props and second one will be the map dispatch to props i am going to define these two we shall define map straight to props as the name shows it will take straight from the store and map it with our component as a prop we are going to define map straight to props it will take a state from the store and return it as a prop first state is is loading so i am going to take is loading state from where from sign up reducer yes and what will be the state is loading next state i'm going to utilize is is signed up is signed up and that will be is signed up state dot sign up reducer and it is coming from here after that uh, i'm going to utilize some states from error reducer that is the message first thing will be the message error message and from where it is coming state dot this error message dot message will be the state here is the state and second one will be the status of error and it will also come from the error reducer and the state is this status we are going to make a file here that will be index.js to export the actions export everything from sign up action and we are going to utilize this section here import sign up from actions from authentication now we shall define the map dispatch to prop as the name shows it will map these actions with our component so how we can do that constant map dispatch to prop it will be an object and what we are going to map that will be the sign up action this action and from where it is coming it is coming from sign up this action will be utilized for this component through map dispatch to props now we are going to take all these props inside our component first prop will be is loading this one second will be sign up third one will be the message fourth one will be the status and the action which we need to map as a prop with our component is sign up use use straight hook to handle the sign up form data these hooks are newly defined by the react js with the help of use state hook i can use the state inside function based component previously when hooks were not introduced by the react js the state could only be used in the class based component so i'm going to use it and here i'm going to define form data and how i can change the form data with the help of set 
form data and what will be the initial state of the form it will be first name which will be empty then last name which will also be empty email and the password it is the initial state of the form which I am going to develop now is giving me error because I am not returning anything now I am going to return something here I have return the sign up in h1 tag I am going to use javascript destructuring for the first name last name email and uh, the password which will be equal to the form data I have found an error it is status instead of state Never user will enter the data like first name, last name, email. Then through the set form data, the initial state of the form will be changed. Now I'm going to define on change function, which will change the initial state of the form as soon as the user input some data. So it will take the previous state and it will take the name of the input and value of the input entered by the user for example user enter the email address then the name will be email and value will be the value the user is entering oh i shall define an on submit function which will be called when user will click on the sign up button it will be e dot prevent default and when user will click on the submit button then sign up action will be dispatched from the sign up component so what it will take it will take first name last name and the email and password just like we defined in the sign up action that it will take these arguments here i will say create your account and after that i shall define form which will take on submit and which function will be called the on submit function which we have recently defined on submit and it will take an event and after that i am going to define input there will be four inputs for the first name last name email and the password it will be type text placeholder will be first name and the name of the input will be first underscore name the name which we want to target e dot target dot name this is the name which i want to target and the value will be first name and on change method will be utilized here which we have just define here on change on change and it will take event 
when someone will hit this input then on change method will be called and after that it is a compulsory field which is required and I am going to wrap this input inside a div so that other input should come at the next line similarly I am going to copy and paste it and the value will be last name here last name and it will be last name and again I am going to copy it and paste it here it will be type email there should be some space yes and placeholder email it is email and it will be email and for the password I am going to copy it again password the placeholder will be password the name of the input will be password and the targeted value will be password here we need a button to sign up or submit a form I will call it sign up button now I am going to start the server with npm start to check whether our application is working or not it is saying hello world at the home page now I am going into the sign up page it is saying could not find store actually we have connected sign up with the store but we have not provided the store to the component for this purpose I am going to import provider from react redux provider from react redux not from the react and then I am going to import store from the store.js file from where we have defined the store I'm going to provide the store to the child component through the provider it will take an argument that will be store and I'm going to provide the store which we have developed in our file now let's see whether it is connecting with the store or not yes it is connecting with the store now I'm going to run the backend API to check whether our sign up functionality is working or not Registering the new user, I have installed a package in my backend API that is Django course headers and incorporated that application in my installed app with the name course headers and I have also added these lines in my setting that is allowed origin and origin whitelist which is localhost 3000 it means whenever a request will come from localhost 3000 then it is allowed in my backend api otherwise it will say that it is unauthorized let's run the server py manage dot py run server and now register the new user sulfur soft and the email id is this and the password is password let's sign up Let's see our backend. Yes, our user is appearing in the backend and currently it is inactive. To activate it, we need a link in our mailbox. That is the mailbox, and we have got a new email. The next video, we are going to learn how to activate the account by using the link which we have received in the email box.